The word sacrifice isn't very popular in our society these days. We seem to live in a culture that demands instant gratification. We have instant grits, instant oatmeal, microwave ovens, next day mail delivery, 5G cell phone coverage. We want what we want and we want it now, instantly. No waiting and we don't want to sacrifice much to get it now. Maybe our culture needs a dose of the truth. The truth is that the best and most meaningful accomplishments in life require hard work and sacrifice. Sometimes the sacrifice required is very minimal, maybe a few minutes of your time or a small commitment, maybe $20. At other times, the sacrifice is tremendous. The night before his assassination, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave a speech in Memphis, Tennessee. And in that speech, he said these words, I don't know what will happen to me now. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it doesn't matter to me now because I've been to the mountaintop. I won't mind. Like anybody else, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. Great sacrifice produces great results. I think our Lord understood this. I'm not sure uh, when he came aware of that sacrifice he was going to make, but I think it surely must have dawned on him when at his baptism, his cousin John said, look, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I know he understood sacrifice when in John, the 10th chapter, he said, no one takes my life from me, but I lay it down freely or of my own accord. And when in the upper room in Jerusalem, he said to the disciples, this is my body broken for you. Jesus uh, made a great sacrifice, a sacrifice that transformed the entire cosmos, a sacrifice that transformed me and you, all of us. Great sacrifice produces great results. Sacrifice. That's a really good word for the weekend ahead.